Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Death's Gambit. Uh, I just called my wife up on what the hell's happening in this game, and I feel like I might need myself, so... God, it's getting dangerous in here. Uh, there's a bunch of immortals. Really, guys? Oh, now there's a path. <laughs> oh. It literally is. Now there is or isn't a path. I thought I was just being stupid. And I dropped into a pit where I could have survived. Wow. Uh, there's a bunch of immortals and that's causing problems for death because that's throwing the world out of whack. So he's done a gambit. You know, like a chess move. In order to uh, try and get control of the world again. He's going to let, you know... He's going to let us become immortal. Ooh, that head's on the backswing, huh? This is... Very unusual, though. Excuse me, that stone is supposed to provide light. Is this darkness somehow greater than that? Scanning. Detecting carbon-based life form. Proceed to the chamber of cerebral migration. Beacon activated. That's a map. Where the blinking red dot. And it appears to be accurate. We're missing a chunk here that appears to be this big square I'm dancing in front of. Hmm. How strange. Oh my god. Why not lay it out? If they're going to lay it out on me. Oh, good. Oh, 
Oh god. I know what that is. Cauterizing saber? Weapon from the golems that inhabit Alamvaro's observatory. Properties not of this world. As a superheated blade beam of plasma forms the blade. Absorb fire, increasing damage. Remove bleed on enemies, exploding them instead. Okay, that was stupid, but I made it here. Well, there's that plasma beam we were talking about. And this is the big square on the map. <gasps> what is this? That's just a pit. That was just a hole. This isn't as fun as I would have hoped. Sorry, not to bitch here, but like, I was kind of hoping that like, I would have a nice clean fight. What is the point of giving me a sunstone? They don't do anything. It is not bright enough for me to see. They do not improve visibility for nothing. By the way, we were on the topic earlier, but Hollow Knight did the same thing of like, oh yeah, go find the three guys or items that they have. <coughs> what is this place? What was that? Oh, Tom's on screen. That means we have a boss. By Surge the Lightning Lurker. My God. My ability to get juice back is really helping me here. Oh, that was just a taste. I bet he's a real dick to you if you, uh... I bet he's a dick to you if you have, like, um... If you, if you screwed it up. Like, if you got killed. Uh, that's good. We killed some mini-bosses, so let's, uh...
Okay. Cut. Okay. Cool. Is that me? Yes. That doesn't tell me anything, though. Get back here, you. Interesting. So now we're ch we're going to have to deal with this in the fight, huh? That's kind of interesting though. What? They have one last chance hit point, huh? Dude, I hit the button. I assure you, I hit the button to do the crash down. Just that I wasn't perfectly neutral on the stick. Which means that I guess he does more damage to me or something. I don't know. Should have done this the first time, but that's okay. I don't really know if I even need to fight these guys, to be frank. Yeah, not being perfectly neutral on the stick got me killed. Because then I had to recover from the animation of the wrong thing that I did. See? Why can't that just be a different button? What? Why can't that just be a different button? What? Why does swapping my polarity have to be crash down, which is the only button that's already being used for two things? It's kind of a cool mechanic, I guess. But like... I don't know how worth it it can be. So I believed that this worked by... Oh. 
This is now starting to become unfun. Oh, shut up. You know, this is another instance in which my axe being one level more upgraded would be really good. There's a thing that a lot of um, lesser Souls games do. Where instead of giving you really clean shortcuts back to the bonfire, they just start giving you a whole bunch of death. Yes. Be quick about it. I'm playing a game. A game? Yes. It's actually quite brilliant. It touches on things of life and death. I keep trying to get a high score, but my character seems to die before I can achieve anything. That doesn't sound very fun. Ugh, why must they all be fun? You lack vision. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Death is... getting more and more wacky as this game goes on. Hmm. Oh, he's gone. Glad I talked to him. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this death fella. I hate stair like elevators like this. Where it's too far for my normal jump. And the next one up is too far for my double jump. There's a lot of stuff like that in uh, Symphony of the Night. Hey, we're back in here. That's cool. We appear to have befriended the rabbit after killing them that one time. I will also say, strictly speaking, the B button being dodge, or dash rather, and ground pound, and change polarity is something that only applies in the air. Because when you're on the ground, it's also dodge. Granted, the dodge is very similar, mechanically and uh, environmentally. Two. What was, oh, it's this now. The dodge is very similar to.
The dodge and the dash are very similar, of course. That's a cool death animation. Onslaught Aura. I haven't slotted in a new aura in... ever. Uh, all damage by 10% by only having one weapon. Maybe this is... has something to do with a super jump. Because that's new stuff over there. And I have no way to get there. Oh, hi. I love elevators like this. Again, this. Also, great. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's the other Dark Knight thing. That's good, at least. But where is this? Darkness falls. And that's Dark Knight. I didn't spend a lot of time in this area. There's this thing that happens when you're... Not to, you know, honk my own dick here, but when you're really good at Souls games, there's this thing that happens where you're going through the areas so few times that you're starting to have difficulty remembering them. Because, like, you're only in it once. Like, I was only in Darkness Rise, like, once. I didn't have a very hard time with it. Oh, but I was friends with the other one. Hmm. It's still holding up. Yep, because it's this one. This really crappy one that's just randomly like that. All right. This is an unusual episode right now because I'm just closing circles. I don't know if I've... I mean, I've missed the boss in here. I guess it'll be that thing. Totem a shield. Subset of sentient fungi spewing their poisonous spores in a communal dance. Given rise to stories of their spirits of the forest, animals that could animals reborn to cavort without fear of harm. Shield is an amalgamation of those spirits able to neutralize poison. Poisoning contagion buildup turns into soul energy. 
Children of Gaia, enjoy the presence of Kodamas. Those guys were also in. Uh, that game about the samurais. Neo. They were like a collectible in Neo. Neo was pretty good. I liked it. I think it was kind of weird that like... There are a few things that were weird about it, but nothing like game ruining. I think it is kind of weird that that game is like... Yeah, spirits and magic are real. Other than that, we're going to be 100% historically accurate. I always thought that was kind of weird. Um... Like, you do... You do play as, like, a white guy in Neo, even though every other character is Japanese. Good thing they, uh, good thing I just picked wrong. Like, that's just a random chance on if I get the right... <laughs> that was, like, pure random chance on, like, if I get the thing or not. Okay, he's red now. Wait, what? It's working. The plan is working. That had a hit flash on it, but it didn't really hurt that much. The self-healing is really working for me here. Of course, I think he's also self-healing. So that's something I've got to think about. That does hurt him as well. I am finding this rather reminiscent of the lab in Hollow Knight. Not that that's a bad thing. I like Hollow Knight. It was a good video game. Now that I'm actually getting a little more into it, I am enjoying this fight. Style switching is always a cool concept. Not that this, you know, brings any gameplay differences besides the color and, like, damage output. It doesn't change your moveset is what I'm saying here. Ooh. Don't trust that. 
130. I don't even know if I'm going to get to 130 in this game. Ah, she was talking about the energy he was sapping, and now he's not doing it no more. Thanks to moi. Okay. Cool. So, I guess I'll call this episode the lab because I kind of did the whole thing in this episode. I called the last episode uh, Ione and her journey's end. What? Mother, she's close. I can feel it. I called the last episode of Ionian Friends because she was uh, featured in both boss fights. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I was just... When is father coming home? Soon, I hope. But it's just you and me for now. That bearskin rug is pretty luxurious. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> All right, you scamp. Off to bed before your imagination runs wild. Brother. Pardon. It's a tick I have whenever I hear the phrase run wild. What is... What is the forward path here? It's so dark. This is like weirdly dark. Like, I don't think my screen's miscalibrated or anything. That's just black. That's weird. I can't see nothing. Well, that's another ledge. And what's more, it's another ledge that has a... Uh, it's another ledge that has a little ball in front of it. I can take it. Later. All right. I don't know if I finished this train of thought earlier, but there's this thing that some of the bad Souls games will do, some of the mediocre ones, where they will not loop levels around, and instead they'll just put more checkpoints. There's a lot of checkpoints here. I'm not too fond of that. I'll rest here. I have a specific place I'm trying to get to. Now, there was... Hmm, 725. You give me 40 each time. I'm going to grab a level here, honestly. These episodes are starting to stretch past the 25 minutes I intended them to be. And then turn into 30 minutes, which is fine. 30 minutes isn't too much longer. Um, but then they turned into... That's a level. Not that I need it. I don't, in fact.
Right, that. Okay. So go up here. Go left. These are ladders. Oh, come on, come on. This sucks. Great, glad I did that. Well, I'll just need to remember that's there. Although, I could probably beat the game without it. The whole thing? That whole thing has a hitbox. And it knocks you off course, too. By the time I've gotten up there... Platforming is not my forte. But it's also not this game's forte. Oh, come on. Great, 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 great. That was awesome. What is the point of the sunstones? They don't provide light. I just want to get to the next thing. Please. I am glad to be stuck into a real Souls-like, though. I think the last time I did this uh, was Salt and Sanctuary. Because I tried Unworthy and I just hated it. Of course, I've talked about why that that is. Yeah, I can go this way. So I'm thinking I'm going to go left out of this lab. I'm hoping that the big gate that I saw... Energy... Now we have to do that, huh? Wait, what's happening here? Just one of those things that you can only just barely make, I guess. energy cloak and four soul stones that's something that's not so bad actually that reminds me we got all this hmm yeah And then the cloak. Vit and finesse. Meh. All right, forty minute mark. I was really hoping that that would be something. Well, let's see if we... So, so yeah, I think it's going to loop around like this. Like that. 
Guarded tomb. Hey, I heard a joke that I've been thinking about, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna legitimately just tell a joke right now, if that's okay with everyone. Pagalachi the clown goes to see the doctor and he says, Doctor, you have to help me. I'm an incel. And the doctor says, Don't worry, Ryan Gosling's in town. You will go and see him tonight, and you'll feel better. And he says, But doctor. <laughs> I've legitimately just been thinking about it like all day. Droid Cranium, interesting. I don't think there'll be any point to equip it. Because, yeah, it's 11 bit, and that's great. But I've already got 7, and I also have 4 strength, so I don't really want, you know, to miss out on some additional points. All right. What? When has that been a thing? That's weird. You're supposed to actually finish the joke and say, but doctor, he's literally me. But I, I like just leaving it there. Though I understand that not everyone knows the old Pagalachi the Clown bit. Uh, that was another episode of... That was another episode of... Death Scam, but I hope you enjoyed. The salt is starting to seep in. Um... This game has a lot of great ideas and a lot of okay ones. Uh, and I feel like a lot of the great ideas were kind of front loaded. And once we, let me big myself here. Once we hit the, the mark where we are, once we hit the mark after the, maybe after the dark night, a lot of those ideas start to like wear off and, begin to lose their luster. Um, like, for example, the bosses are still good. The bosses are still a highlight. I can say that much. It is still really, really fun to fight bosses in this game. I definitely really enjoy that. Um, but the area is just... I don't appreciate that the area is just so fucking dark. I can't see anything in it. And I understand that's a part of the challenge, but I made a thread about this actually because I was curious. Uh, did anyone of you guys play the Everhood? The It was that rhythm game that kind of reminds everyone of Paper Mario because the guy looks like the wooden puppet from Paper Mario. It was that rhythm game that was reminiscent of Undertale. Everhood? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's called Everhood. So it's like a rhythm game and like when you're doing your guitar hero stuff sometimes it'll do, you know, crazy shit to the screen. Like, oh my god, now you have to look at this. And I asked, is that valid of the game to do? You know, in a normal rhythm game, I don't think that it is. I don't think that it's right for a rhythm game to say, okay, the challenge is playing the rhythm game and doing rhythm. Okay, now the challenge is being able to see the screen and being able to see everything that we put on the screen after we obfuscate everything and make it really hard for you. I don't think that's a valid challenge and I really don't like that. But somebody made the point that, you know, Everhood is not a normal rhythm game. It is meant to be an RPG. And in that sense, it is atmospheric that you're being confused, that people are actually attacking you with confusion. Like, you, the player, get confused because of what's happening in-game. Um, and so maybe that's valid. I still kind of don't like the idea of attacking the player in that manner. Um, I don't really like, you know, games that make themselves harder to play. Not harder in difficulty, just more difficult to understand and take in the information the game gives you and then give back, you know, feedback in the way of good gameplay. Uh, I don't really like that at all. 
And I really, really don't like the blackout areas in this game. In almost any game, but in this game, they're particularly egregious because, like, there's just been minutes where I've been walking into walls because I don't know that there's not, like, more progress there. Like, that is a... I would say that that is a serious problem, especially in what is also supposed to be a fast-paced action game. And, you know, maybe I've just missed the item that provides light. I know that there's a spell that does it, but I don't have a spell investment. And somebody should be able to beat a game without putting an investment in spells if the game doesn't require it. Like, if you're going to go play Wizard 101 and you say, I don't want to cast any spells, well, there's your problem, bud. You picked up the Wizard game. And you don't want a wizard. Play a different game. But in this game, you know, they give you a lot of choices. And I don't want to say that I picked wrong. I mean, I, I picked something I didn't want, but only because of something else. But that's a different problem. Uh, anyway, I've just... <laughs> I should have kept playing if I was going to have a spiel like this. But I got to go get ready. Um, I digress. The game is still pretty good. Um, if you're enjoying the LP, please continue watching. If you're not, just put it on in another window and don't have the sound on. Um, if you're really enjoying it, buy the game. Because you'll probably enjoy the game if you love the LP. But if you just enjoy my dulcet tones and hearing me bitch about things, then by all means, I have a bunch of other stuff for you to watch. Um, I'll be back for more of this soon. I'm also going to record West of Loathing at some point. I might have this sweater on again. Um, I'm about to do laundry though, so whatever. Um, but I'll be back for more of this at some point. It's just I'm ending the night on what I hope is a high note. <laughs> that said, it'll be like weeks of recording because of the way that I upload now. But I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred. This has been Death's Gambit. I hope you have a good day. Bye.